Okay, students, this is question number 12 from the past paper file of quadratics. It is from October, November 15, a question of three marks, which we have to solve in 4.5 minutes. Start karte hai, Question diya gya. A line has equation y equals to this and a curve has equation y equal to this. Where C is a constant, find the set of possible values of C for which the line does not intersect the curve. Means it's a question of discriminant. Does not intersect means discriminant is discriminant is less than zero. Does not intersect discriminant is less than zero. Ye concept use hoga. And we know that discriminant ka koi bhi question ho, wo work karta hai kis par x axis par yeah, values of x per. So first, we have to eliminate y from both of the equation, and we have to make an equation in terms of x only, right? So now, the first step is making an equation in terms of x. So can I write it like x squared minus 4x plus c equals to 2x minus 7? Dono equations ko humne compare kar diya, y ko eliminate kar diya. So, x squared minus 4x minus 2x is minus 6x plus c plus 7 equals to 0. And the condition is discriminant is less than 0. b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. What is the value of b minus 6? What is the value of a? One, everyone. What is the value of C? C plus 7 less than 0. So now, minus x squared is minus 4C minus 7 4 is 28 less than 0. So, <coughs> minus 4C 36 minus 28 is 8 plus 8 is less than 0. So, Minus 4c is less than minus 8. Minus and minus cancel out. Jab minus minus cancel hoga, it means humne inequality ko multiply ya divide kiya hai minus se. So sign change. So the value of c is greater than 8 divided by 4 is 2. This is the value of c, a question of 3 marks which we have to complete in 4.5 minutes. Are you clear? A simple question. Okay. Now. Now students, next question, question number 13. It is from May 2, 14, paper 1-1. One, one. The first is express 4x squared. 4x squared minus 12x in the form of 2x plus a whole squared plus b. Jab bhi kisi form mein convert karna ho, to question comparison se kar liya kare, easily form mein conversion ho jayega. Right? So now, I am expanding the right hand side by the formula a plus b whole square. a plus b whole square. So a square plus 2ab plus b square plus b. Now, after that Coefficient comparison. The coefficient of x square is 4 towards right, 4 towards left. Comparison ka koi fayda nahi hoga, unknown nahi aega. So now, compare the coefficient of x. 4a is x. And what is the coefficient of x towards left? <coughs> it is minus 12. The value of a is minus 3. And the constant is a square plus b equals 2. The constant towards left is 0. So can I say that b equals to minus a squared and b equals to minus 9. The value of a is minus 3 and the value of b is minus 9. Are you clear? Are you clear? The constant a squared plus b is equal to, there is no constant equals to 0. So just calculate the value of b. What is the value of a? Minus 3. Minus 3 square is 9. Right? 
Now, after that, the second part. Second part is about the quadratic inequality. 4x squared minus 12x is greater than 7. 4x squared minus 12x is greater than 7. Can I write it like 4x squared minus 12x minus 7 is greater than 0? Can you please tell me the critical values? What are the critical values? The two values of x. Take out your calculators. Seven upon two n minus one upon two. So now, how to write the result? The sign of inequality as the last step sign, the smaller value towards left and the larger value towards right. Are you clear? A question of four marks. A very simple question. And if in the part A, if we have to write like with the values of A and B, so it will be 2x minus 3 whole square minus 9. Clear? Just we have to calculate the values of A and B in the first part. Now, students, question number 14 from the past paper file. It is of May, June 14, paper 1-3. Now, what we have in this question, express this in this form again by coefficient comparison. 2x squared minus 10x plus 8 equals to a times x plus b whole squared plus c. So now it will be a times a squared plus 2ab plus b squared plus c. And now it will be ax squared plus 2abx plus ab squared plus c. Hopefully there is no confusion up to this step. Clear? And now after that the coefficient comparison starts. What is the coefficient of x squared here? It is a and towards left it is 2. What is the coefficient of x? 2ab equals what is the coefficient here? Minus 10. So what is the value of b? Minus 10 over 2a and a is 2. So it will be 2 5s are 10. So minus 5 over 2. And the constant AB squared plus C equals to the constant is 8. So can I say that C equals to 8 minus AB squared. B squared 5 upon 2 minus K squared is 25 upon 4. By cancellation, 2 twos are 4. So the final answer is 8 twos are 16. 16 minus 25 is 9. So the answer is minus 9 over 2. This is the value of C. Are you clear? Any confusion? So can I say that the function now become, can I say that the function now become, if I write in this form, so what is A? A is 2. X, what is B? B is minus 5 upon 2. Whole square. And what is C? C is minus 9 upon 2. After that, the examiner is asking and use your answer to state the minimum value. Use your answer to state the minimum value. For maximum minimum value, we have to compare with y equals to a <coughs> x minus h whole squared plus k. So what is the minimum value? The coordinates of h and k turning point ke coordinates ho jayenge. So jana, according to this According to this, state the minimum value. So, bacho, jabbi curve sketch hota hai, minimum value or maximum value aapko bataya ja chuka hai with respect to y axis hoti hai. With respect to y axis hoti hai. Agar mein iska curve yaha par sketch karu, if I sketch its curve here, what is the value of h minus minus plus 5 upon 2? What is the value of k minus 9 upon 2? 
the value of k is minus 9 upon 2. This is the turning point. And where we have to intersect the y-axis, the constant 8. So we have to intersect y-axis at 8. Like this. This is the y-intercept. So what is the minimum value? Therefore, the minimum value is minus 9 upon 2. The minimum value of the curve is minus 9 upon 2. Are you clear? Any confusion? Because there is no value below than minus 9 over 2. Right? And after that, the second part. And after that, the second part. What we have in the second part, find the set values of k for which the equation has no real roots. Has no real roots. And no real is for discriminant is less than zero. So now, first make an equation in terms of x, 2x squared minus 10x plus 8 equals to kx. So first, make an equation in which the left hand side is equals to the expression and the right hand side is equals to zero. So it will be like 2x squared. We have to arrange the equation first. Minus 10x minus kx plus 8 equals to 0. The condition is discriminant is less than 0. Means b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. But so what is the value of b? The value of b is coefficient of x minus 10 minus k. Minus 10 minus k. यहां पर लगेगा स्क्वायर याद रखिएगा अगर b की दोनों वैल्यूज नेगेटिव में हैं तो हम उनको पॉजिटिव में लिख सकते हैं बिकॉज़ ऑफ द स्क्वायर कि हमने माइनस कॉमन लिया और वो माइनस क्या हो गया पॉजिटिव हो गया इफ द बोथ वैल्यूज आर नेगेटिव देन वी आर अलाउड टू राइट बोथ वैल्यूज इन पॉजिटिव अगर कोई एक वैल्यू नेगेटिव में होगी देन वी आर नॉट अलाउड राइट सो नाउ 10 plus k whole is square minus 4. What is a? 2. And what is c? 8. Less than 0. 10 plus k whole is square is less than 4 to the 8. 8 to the 64. After that, can I say that the critical values are 10 plus k by taking under root? It is plus 8. 10 plus k by taking under root? It is minus 8. So the values of k are 8 minus 10 is minus 2, minus 8 minus 10 is minus 18. So the final answer is sine is like this, minus 18 here, minus 2 here. Are you clear? Any confusion? Again, koi concept quadratics ka, jo char concepts likhwa diye gai, okay, bhaid se aap nahi dekhe. Right? So, after this, Question number 15. It is October, November 14. Question again. Bohi quadratics. Vesai question. Jesse hum pehle question solve karte ve I find the set values of K for which the line meets the curve at two distinct points. For two distinct, what is discriminant? What is discriminant? Greater than zero. Greater than zero. So now, first of all, we have to make an equation in terms of x only. Eliminate y first, right? So how can we eliminate y? It will be x squared plus kx minus 2 equals to 2x minus k. Eliminate kar diya humne y. Arrange the equation x squared plus kx minus 2x plus k minus 2 equals to 0. Equation apni form mein aagai. Now we can compare it with, we can use this equation with the discriminant b squared minus 4ac greater than 0. Now, what is the value of b? k minus 2. Ab aap dekhe, sir, ek term ke saath negative ka, term ne sign ko nahi chheda. If it is negative, 
तो पॉजिटिव में लिख सकते हैं इनके आर यू क्लियर आफ्टर दैट माइनस फोर वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ए वन एंड वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ सी के माइनस टू ग्रेटर देन जीरो आफ्टर दैट होल स्क्वायर एक्सपेंशन ए स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर के प्लस एट ग्रेटर देन जीरो के स्क्वायर माइनस एट के प्लस ट्वेल्व ग्रेटर देन जीरो देर फोर वॉट आर द क्रिटिकल वैल्यूज ऑफ के टू एंड सिक्स आर द क्रिटिकल वैल्यूज सो द आंसर ऑफ के सो द आंसर ऑफ के इज लाइक टू इज हेयर एंड सिक्स इज हेयर अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ फाइव मार्क्स एंड अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन इज दिस क्लियर क्लियर Okay, number sixteen. It is of May June thirteen, paper one two. Again, a straight line is tangent to the curve. Find the value of the constant m. Find the value of the constant m. Right, and after that we have to calculate the coordinate where line and the curve, where where the line and the curve meet. Right, so. For tangent, what is the value of discriminant? Condition of discriminant so, equals to zero. Tangent पर क्या होता है? Equals to zero. Now, again, the first step, eliminate y because discriminant works on x-axis, right? So eliminate y. It will be m x plus fourteen equals to twelve over x plus two. एम एक्स प्लस फोर्टीन इक्वल टू एक्स हियर ट्वेल्व प्लस टू एक्स क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन एम एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर्टीन एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व माइनस टू एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो एम एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेल्व एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व इक्वल टू जीरो Discriminant is equal to zero. B square minus four AC equals to zero. What is B? Twelve. What is A? What is A? M. What is C? Minus twelve equals to zero. Now twelve square is one forty four minus four multiplied by twelve is. Forty-eight m equals to zero. So, what is the value of m? One forty-four divided by forty-eight minus three. The value of m is minus three. Are you clear? Any confusion? Now, after that, we also have to calculate the coordinate where the line is tangent to the curve. So now we have to use this equation. What is the value of m minus three x squared plus twelve x minus twelve equal to zero? Can I divide the whole equation with minus three? Yes, it will be x squared minus four x plus four equal to zero. So according to this, <coughs> it will be x minus two whole squared equal to zero. So the value of x is two, and the value of y is if we substitute in this equation, so it will be two six are twelve, and six plus two is eight. So it is two comma eight. This is the coordinate of P. Again, a question of five marks. Is this clear? Okay. Question number seventeen. And the question is, it's of October number thirteen. I'm doing the first part. First part is about the inequality. Y is greater than nine, and what is y? Two x squared minus three x is greater than nine. Can I say that minus nine is greater than zero? What are the two values of x? 
3 the critical values are x equals to 3 and minus 3 over 2. So we have to write the result like negative 3 over 2 and 3. Are you clear? Now it's a simple question. A very simple question, right? Now in the second part, in the second part, express this in the form of this. Again, the coefficient comparison thing, 2x squared minus 3x in the form of a x plus b whole squared plus c. I'm writing it by expanding the whole square. It will be ax squared minus 2abx plus ab squared plus c. I have whole square expand and a se multiply bhi karwa liya. A ki step. What is the value of a now? What is the value of a? The value of a is now, the coefficient of x is minus 2ab. And what is the coefficient of x towards left? Minus 3. So, what is the value of b? Minus 3 over minus 2. a is 2. So, the answer is, it is 2 to the 4. It is 3 upon 4. Any confusion? No. And the constant is, ab squared plus c equals to 0. What is c? Minus a b squared. What is a two? What is b squared? Nine upon sixteen. After the cancellation, it will be minus nine upon eight. Are you clear? These are the values of a b and c. So can I write that a curve is? Can I write <coughs> that a curve is? What is a? A is two. X. What is b? B is three upon four. And what is C, C is minus 9 over 8. Is the kya kaha? State the coordinate of the vertex. For the coordinate of vertex, compare it with A, X minus H whole squared plus K. The values of H and K are the coordinates of vertex. What is the value of H? Minus 3 upon 4. And what is the value of K? Minus 9 over 8. These are the coordinates of vertex. Are you clear? Next one. The function f and g are defined by this and this. Find the value of k for which gfx is equal to 0. It's a pure question. It's a question with a combination of functions. So we are not doing this part. Right? We'll do this in the topic of function. Right? Now, students, again, a very simple question is here. It is, it is of October, November 13. Just a quadratic inequality. Now, we have to solve this. X squared minus X minus 2. What are the two values of X? The first value is 2. So, it means X minus 2. And the second value is? Plus 1, it means x minus 1. Greater than 0. But this is an inequality ka question at 3 marks. So, one step here is show. Kar right? And after that, write the critical values. The critical values are 2n minus 1. Therefore, the final answer is minus 1 here and 2 here. A 3 mark question. Simple. Clear? Our students, question number 19, it is from May, June 12. Question of simultaneous equation like this thing, right? So now, the diagram shows a curve and a line. The curve and a line intersect at point A and B for case where K is 2, find the coordinates of A and B. If the value of k is 2, find out the find out the coordinates of a and b. I'm doing the first part here. Always for <clears throat> finding out the intersecting coordinate, we have to solve them simultaneously. So now the first equation is 6x plus 2. At the place of k, we have to write 2. 
equals to 7 under root x equals to 7 under root x. We have to solve them simultaneously. Simultaneously solve karna hai. Or values calculate karni hai intersecting coordinates ki. Yahaan par students ko problem hoti hai under root ki jo value aga hai is pe. To problem se bachne ke liye hum kya karenge? Let under root x <coughs> equals to p. Let under root x equals to p. If under root x equals to p, then x equals to p squared. Then x equals to p squared by squaring both the sides. Now replace x and under root x here. So it will be 6p squared plus 2 equals to 7p. So now, can I write it like 6p squared minus 7p plus 2 equals to 0? After that, what are the two values of p? The first value is 2 upon 3 and the second value is 1 upon 2. What is p? p is under root x. Can I say that under root x is 2 over 3 and under root x is 1 upon 2? By squaring both the sides, can I say that the x is 4 upon 9 and here x is 1 upon 4? But so we also have to calculate the value of y. Find the x coordinate. Just we have to calculate the x coordinates. X coordinate is gay. We don't have to calculate the y coordinates. Are you clear? Simple question. Second, find the value of A for which the line is tangent to the curve. Now, the second part. Here, the line 6x plus k is tangent to which curve? 7 under root x. Tangent to which curve? 7 under root x. Right? Now, when we converted P, what was it? This is 6P squared minus 7P plus 2 equals to 0. This is 6P squared minus 7P plus 2 equals to 0. We have put X and P squared under root x. And what is our back end? This is X and X is squared. Right? So now, tangent to the curve. It means discriminant is equal to 0. B squared minus 4AC equals to 0. What is B? Minus 7. What is A? 6. What is C? A equals to 0. Therefore, 49 minus 24. K equals to 0. What is the value of K? The value of K is 49 upon 24. Are you clear? Any confusion? Hopefully, no. A question of six marks. Okay, so question number 20. Yes, boys, they are last. Question number 20. The equation of the line is given. The equation of the curve is given. In case where k is 8, the line intersects the curve at point A e and B. Find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line A, B. It's a combination of quadratic and coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry we have pehle par chuke. The value of K is 8. So what is the equation of the line? 2Y plus X equals to 8. And what is the equation of curve? XY equals to 6. The curve intersecting line at point A and B. And we have to calculate the equation of perpendicular bisector of A and B. So first, we must have the coordinates of A and B. And how can we calculate the coordinates of A and B? By solving them simultaneously. Because when the intersection hoga, we simultaneously solve karna hoga. Now, simultaneously solve karna ke liye, jo akela ho, uski value calculate kar le here, the x is equal to 8 minus 2y. If I replace here in the second equation, it will be 8 minus 2y. y equals to 6. Can I say that it will be 8y minus 2y squared equals to 6. And 2y squared 
minus 8y plus 6 equals to 0. What are the two values of y? Six and three and one. The two values of y are three and one. And if the two values are here, then what are the values of x? When y is three, so eight minus six is two. When y is one, eight minus two is six. So a coordinate koisabi up next two comma three. B coordinates, which are you have to do? Six comma one. Now we have to calculate the equation of perpendicular bisector. For finding out the equation of perpendicular bisector, first of all we have to calculate the midpoint. First of all we have to calculate the midpoint. So how can we calculate the midpoint? We have a formula, and the formula is x one plus x two by two, y one plus y two by two. So 2 plus 6, 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. These are the coordinates of the midpoint. And now the gradient of AB. The gradient of AB is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. So the gradient is minus 1 over 2. Therefore, the gradient of perpendicular is 2. Now, by using the formula, by using the formula, y minus y1 and x1, y1, y minus y1 equals to m, x minus x1, x1, y1 are the coordinates of the midpoint, y minus 2 equals to 2, x minus x1 is 4, so y minus 2 equals to 2x minus 8 and y equals to 2x minus 6 is the equation of perpendicular bisector. Are you clear? Now, what is in the second part? Find the set value of k for which the line intersect the curve at two distinct points. For two distinct points, what is p? Greater than 0. So now, the second part I am doing here, first eliminate y. So from the equation of the line, can I say that y is equals to k minus x divided by 2. And from the curve, can I say that y equals to 6 over x. Compare both of them, k minus x divided by 2 equals to 6 over x cross multiplication kx minus x squared equals to 12. Can I say that x squared minus kx plus 12 equals to 0 and discriminant is and discriminant is greater than 0. b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. What is the value of b minus k squared? What is the value of a? 1. What is the value of c? 12 greater than 0, 12 fours are 48, k squared is greater than 48. So can I say that the critical values are k is plus minus under root 48. So the answer final is minus under root 48 and plus under root 48. These are the results. Are you clear? Any confusion? Hopefully, no. Question, now question number 21. It is from October, November 12, paper 1, 2. What we have to do in this question number 21, the equation of the curve and the equation of the line. Where k is 8, find the coordinate of the point of intersection of the line and the curve. Simultaneously solve karna hai. So what is the first equation? The first equation is y squared plus 2x equals to 30. And the second equation is 2y plus x equals to 8. Simultaneously solve karna hai. Aapko kya bata hai tha? Jo akela ho, usko mazid akela kar di di. 
So can I say that x equals to eight minus rakh dijiye janaab y square plus twice eight minus two y equals to thirteen y square plus sixteen minus four y equals to thirteen y square minus four y plus three equals to zero. What are the two values of y? What are the two values of y? Three n one. If these are the values of y, so the values of x are if y is three, so eight minus six is two, and uh, next x is six. So here it is two comma three and one six comma one. These are the two coordinates point of intersection. Are you clear? Any confusion? Now second, find the value of a for which the line is tangent to the curve. For which the line is tangent to the curve. In the second part, find out the value of a for which the line is tangent to the curve. Line is tangent to the curve. Line is tangent to the curve. If line is tangent to the curve, then the discriminant is. Equals to zero. Then the discriminant is equals to zero, right? Now, for discriminant, discriminant always works with x-axis. So first of all, we have to first of all we have to make the equation of x, right? So now, according to the curve, y squared plus two x equals to thirty. And according to the line, the equation is two y plus x equals to k. Can I say that y equals to k minus x divided by two? Yes. K minus x divided by two. Y ki value ko curve ki equation mein rakh rahe hain, so it will be k minus x divided by two whole square plus two x equals to thirteen. ऊपर k माइनस x का होल स्क्वायर एक्सपेंड होगा a स्क्वायर a स्क्वायर माइनस 2k x प्लस x स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय 4 प्लस 2x इक्वल तू 13 ना k स्क्वायर माइनस 2k x प्लस x स्क्वायर प्लस 8k 8x equals to 4 multiplied by 13 is 52. Okay, now, so it is, first we have to arrange the equation. X squared sabse pehle, then the terms of X then constant terms plus k squared minus 52 equals to 0. Now, we have to calculate the value of k for which discriminant is, is equal to 0. For which the discriminant is equal to 0. So now, discriminant is b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. What is the value of b? 8 minus 2k whole square minus 4. What is the value of a? 1. What is the value of c? The constant k square minus 52. These are the values of a, b, and c. Right? Now, after that, we have to expand the bracket. We have to expand the bracket. So, a square. 8 square is 64. 8 square is 64 minus 2ab. 32k plus b squared, 4k squared, minus 4 into this is 4k squared, and 4 multiplied by 52 is plus 208 equals to 0. Cancel 4k squared and 4k squared. So now 64 plus 208 is. 272 
minus 32k equals to 0. What is the value of k? What is the value of k? In fraction, in fraction, 17 divided by 2. 17 divided by 2. 17 divided by 2 is the value of k. Are you clear? Now, question number 22. What we have in this question number 22? A curve and a line. They are intersecting at A and B and also at origin. Right? It's a question of October number 12, paper 1 3. In the first part, show that the x coordinate of A and B satisfies this equation. It means we have to solve both the equations simultaneously. Jab bhi intersecting coordinate, curve curve, curve line, line line, calculate karna ho, solve karte hain hum log simultaneously. Right? So now, the first equation is y equals to 2x power 5 plus 3x cube. Can I compare the both equations, the equation of curve and line? So it will be 2x5 plus 3x cube equals to 2x. Yes or no? 2x5 plus 3x cube minus 2x equals to 0. Isn't it? Can I take x common? It is 2x4 plus 3x squared minus 2 equals to 0. Can I say that the first x equal to 0 and the second 2x4 plus 3x squared minus 2 equal to 0 and this we have to prove in the first part. This we have to prove. Is this clear? Yes or no? Second, we have to solve the equation and then find the coordinate of A and B, giving your answer in exact form. We don't have to write in decimal. Right? Now, here it is 2x4 plus 3x squared minus 2 equals to 0. It's a quadratic equation. It's not a quadratic equation. It's a quadratic equation. But, can I say that let x squared equals to p. Let x squared equals to p. Because I am making the quadratic equation in quadratic form. So if x squared is p, then what is x power 4? It is p squared it is 3p equals to 0. What are the two values of p? What are the two values of p by using this quadratic equation? 1 upon 2 and minus 2. 1 upon 2 and minus 2. These are the two values. Any confusion? What is p? p is x squared equals to 1 upon 2 and p is x squared equals to minus 2 taking under root on both the side so it is not possible but the first one is possible by taking under root can i say that x is equals to plus minus under root 1 upon 2 under root 1 means can i write it like 1 upon under root 2 and minus 1 upon under root 2 right now we have to calculate the values of y. What is y? y equals to 2x. So it is 2 over under root 2. And this is minus 2 over under root 2. So the answers are 1 upon under root 2, 2 over under root 2, and one up, minus 1 upon under root 2, minus 2 over under root 2. These are the results. Are you clear? Any confusion? We don't have to write the answers in decimal because 
examiner needs exact swap. Clear? Okay, students, question number 23. First part, it is from October number 12, paper 13. A straight line passes through the point this has gradient m. Write down the equation of the line. It's very simple. By using the formula y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. What is x1, y1? 2n0. m is m. <coughs> x minus 2. So the value of y is mx minus 2m. Any confusion? <coughs> Clear? Second. Find the two values of m for which the line is tangent to the curve. Line is tangent to the curve. Discriminant equals to zero. Discriminant equals to zero. So now, first of all, we have to combine the both equations. Why ko eliminate karna hota hai for the question of discriminant? Okay. So eliminate y. Line equation is mx minus 2m. Curve equation is this. Can I say that x squared minus 4x plus 5 equals to mx minus 2m. Yes. x squared minus 4x minus mx plus 5 plus 2m equals to 0. Discriminant is equal to 0. Can I say that b squared minus 4ac equals to 0? What is the value of B? What is the value of B? Minus 4 minus M. Minus 4 minus M. Kya dono values ke saath negative hai? Minus 4 minus M. Kya dono values ke saath minus hai? Agar dono ke saath minus ho, to positive mein likh diya karein. 4 plus M. Because of the square, humne minus common lekar plus kar diya. Minus se bache. Right? Minus dono ke saath lekhenge. Expansion me problem ho. So minus comma lekar khatam kar diya. Agar dono ke saath minus ho, positive me lik di diye. Agar ek ke saath minus ho, to jo hai, phir voi likhna padega. Right? Minus 4. What is A? Minus 4 minus M ka whole square expansion me problem. Ab A plus B whole square ho raha hai. Woh minus A minus B whole square ho ga. Phir kaise karo? Right? Now, minus 4 minus m, minus common lay, so plus 4 plus m ho gya, or wo minus is quite good as a plus ho gya. Clear? Take minus common. Thank you. Now, what is A? A is 1. 5 plus 2 M is C equals to 0. Now, whole square expansion. A square plus 2 AB 8 M plus M square minus 20 minus 8 M equals to 0. It is m squared. 8 m, 8 m cancel. 16 minus 20 is minus 4 equal to 0. m, is, m equals to plus minus 2. These are the values of m. Are you clear? Any confusion? What is the next part? The third part is Achha, in this, we calculated the value of M. After that, find the coordinate of the point where the line touches the curve. Where the line touches the curve. Now, after that, what is the equation of curve? Y equal to X squared minus 4X plus 5. What is the equation of line? Y equals to MX minus 2M. We have to solve them simultaneously. We have to solve them simultaneously. 
Now, the the values of m are plus minus 2. When m equals to 2, curve is <coughs> x squared minus 4x plus 5 and line is 2x minus 4. Isn't it? Yes or no? Solve them simultaneously. x squared minus 4x plus 5 equals to 2x minus 4. x squared minus 6x plus 9 equal to 0. What are, what is the value of y? 3. Because it will be x minus 3 whole squared equal to 0. So the value of x is 3 and the value of y is 1. So the coordinate is 3 comma 1. Are you clear? And now when m is minus 2. So it will be y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 5 and the line is y equals to minus 2x minus 2x plus 4. Now we have to solve them simultaneously. So it will be x squared minus 4x plus 5 equals to minus 2x plus 4 x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals to 0. So now this is x minus 1 whole squared equal to 0. The value of x is 1 and the value of y is 2. So here it is 1 and 2. These are the two coordinates on the different values of m. The line touches or the line is tangent to the curve. Is this clear? What? Because the value of m is minus 2. The value of m is minus 2. If we replace in the curve minus 2 into minus 2, it will be no, 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 no. Curve equation to here and mx minus 2m. Curve equation to here. Here, 1 is 1. 4 minus 2 is 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 i. Y is 1. 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 6 minus 4, it is 2, not 1. Who told me to? Yes. Now, after that, after that, the third part. After that, the third part. Express, express, x squared minus 4x plus 5 in the form of x plus a whole squared plus b. Simple. Just expand the right hand side. a squared plus 2ax plus b. a squared plus b. Coefficient comparison. What is the coefficient of x 2a? What is the coefficient of x in the left hand side? Minus 4. So 2a equals to minus 4. Value of a is minus 2. The constant a squared plus b equals to the constant 5. What is the value of b? 5 minus a squared. a squared is 4. It is 1. Therefore, the curve is x minus 2 whole squared plus 1. Are you clear? Clear? Now, after that, this is curve. Write down the coordinate of the minimum point. For finding out maximum minimum, we have to compare it with a x minus h whole squared plus k. So, what is the value of a? The value of a according to this comparison, 1, which is greater than 0. So, the curve has minimum value. What is the value of h? What is the value of h? The value of h is 2, minus, minus, plus. And what is the value of k? The value of k is 1. Write down the coordinates of the minimum point. So, the coordinates of the minimum point are 2, comma 1. Are you clear? Okay, friends. Now, next question. Question number 24 here. Question number 24.
the equation x square plus px plus q where p and q are constant has roots minus 3 and 5. Has roots. Roots kya hota hai bacho? These are the values of x. These are the values of x. Can I say that the first value of x is minus 3 and the second value of x is 5. Can I say that x plus 3 and x minus 5 is equal to 0. Can I multiply the both? x squared minus 5x plus 3x minus 15 equal to 0. Can I write it like x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals to 0. Can I compare with x squared plus px plus q equals to 0. Can I say that the value of p is minus 2 and the value of q is minus 15. Is this clear? Just we made an equation by the help of given roots. As the roots are of the same equation, therefore comparison of the equations are allowed. Because this equation is roots. So the equation is the equation. Compare karke and no nitali. Now, second part. Second part. Using these values of P and Q, find the value of the constant R. For which the equation has equal has equal roots. For equal roots, discriminant is equal to zero. So now the second part. Equation is x squared. What is p minus 2x? What is q minus 15 plus r equal to 0? Discriminant is equal to 0. b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. What is b minus 2? What is a 1? What is c? r minus 15 or minus 15 plus r. The both are same. So here it is 4. 4 r, 4 multiplied by 15 is 60 equals to 0, 4 r equals to 64, and what is the value of r? 60 plus 4 is 64. 64 divided by 4, 16, this is the value of r. Are you clear? Yes. Now, question number 25. Find the set values of M for which the line intersects the curve. Bacho intersects the curve at two distinct points. Two distinct points means discriminant is greater than zero. First of all, make an equation in terms of X or eliminate Y. Make an equation without why? So now, how can we make this equation 3x squared minus 4x plus 7 equals to mx plus 4, 3x squared minus 4x minus mx plus 3 equals to 0. Discriminant is greater than 0. b squared minus 4ac greater than 0. What is the value of b, everyone? What is the value of B, everyone? 4 plus M. 4 plus M. Dono ke saath minus hai. So plus ke saath a gaya. Minus 4. What is A? What is C? Greater than 0. 4 3 is 12. 12 3 is 36. 4 plus M whole is quite. Greater than 36. Now the critical values. 4 plus m equals to 6. 4 plus m equals to minus 6. m equals to 2 and minus 10. So the final answer is minus 10 here and 2 here. Are you clear? A 5 mark question. Copy simple question. Diya gaya. Question number 26. It's of October number 11. Paper 1-1. One, one. The line and the curve has equations for the case where k is 2. The line and the curve intersect at A and B. Find the distance AB and the coordinate of the midpoint of AB. It means we have to solve them simultaneously. 
to get the values of A and B, right? So in the first part, what is the line? Y equals to 2X plus 6. And what is the curve? Y equals to X squared plus 3X plus 4. K ki value ko 2 rakhte hai, humne lik diya. Compare both of them. X squared plus 3X plus 4 equals to 2X plus 6. X squared plus X minus 2 equal to 0. What are the two values of X? One and minus two. So the values of i are one other rakhenge equation mein. So it will be eight. Minus two rakhenge, it will be two. So the coordinates are one and eight. Minus two and two. And these are the coordinates of A and B. Now we have to calculate the distance AB. So the distance AB is. Achha. Aur kuch. Two minus eight. Whole squared plus minus two minus one whole squared. Now it is two minus eight is minus six squared is thirty six three squared is nine nine plus thirty six under root forty five. Clear? And after that the midpoint of AB is one minus two minus one divided by two is two. 8 plus 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Midpoint B are gaya. Are you clear? Any confusion? Second part. Find out the value of K. When a line is tangent to the curve, it means discriminant is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. Right? Now, combine both of them. So, it will be X squared plus 3x plus 2k equals to kx plus 6 x squared plus 3x minus kx plus 2k minus 6 equals to 0. Discriminant is equal to 0. b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. The b is 3 minus k whole squared. What is a 1? What is C? Yes. Equals to 0. Whole square expansion. Nine. 9 minus 6K plus K squared minus 8K plus 6 goes are 24. Equal to 0. K squared minus 14K plus 24 plus 9 is 33. What are the two values of K? What are the two values of K? Eleven and three are the two values of K. Are you clear? Question number twenty-seven. It is October, November. It is October, November eleven. Examination now. The equation of the curve is here and the equation of the line is here. In case where k is 8, find the coordinate of the point of intersection of the line and the curve. Again, the question is same as the previous one. We have to solve them simultaneously. y squared plus 2x equals to 13 and 2y plus x equals to 8. Take out the value of x from this. So it will be 8 minus 2y. Substitute here y squared plus 2, 8 minus 2y equals to 13, y squared plus 16 minus 4y equals to 13, y squared minus 4y plus 3 equal to 0. What are the two values of y? The two values of y are 3 and 1. So the values of x are when y is 3, it is 3 to the 6, 2. When y is 1, it is 6. So, 3 and 1. So, the coordinates are 2, comma 3 and 6, comma 1. Now, 
After that, these are the intersecting coordinates. These are the intersecting coordinates. After that, the second part. Find the value of k for which the line is tangent to the curve. So it means we have to make an equation in terms of x. So the curve equation is so the, so the curve's equation is y squared plus 2x equals to 13. And the line's equation is 2y plus x equals to k. So the value of y is k minus x over 2. And now this one will be at the place of y, it is k minus x over 2 whole squared plus 2x equals to 13. Whole squared expansion, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared divided by 4 by taking LCM with 4 it will be 8x equals to 13 multiplied by 4 is 52 and now the x squared minus x squared plus 8x minus 2kx plus k squared minus 52 equals to 0 discriminant is equals to 0 because here it is tangent to the curve. So b squared 8 minus 2k squared minus 4. What is a 1? What is c? k squared minus 52 equals to 0. Whole square expansion 64 32k plus 4k squared minus 4k squared plus 208 equals to 0. Cancel out. What is the value of k? The value of k is 208 plus 64. 208 plus 64 divided by 32. 17 upon 2 is the result. 17 upon 2 is the result. Clear? Beta here, it is not 273, it is 272. It is 272. 